Hey folks and welcome back and in today's video we'll be looking at how actually we can control this LED strip using Home Assistant with something called as WLED. So for this we'll be using this chip called as D1 Mini but you can also use an ESP32. This setup is the same for both these chips. Finally we will look into this project that I was working on in which I used WLED to control an LED strip and let's see how it looks like. So with this let's get started. So today we'll be looking into this WLED project with which we can control our LEDs. Now it supports this individual addressable LEDs which of this particular type. So WS2812B, WS2811 and SK6812 LEDs. So these are individual addressable LEDs that this particular project supports. So here I have this particular strip which has this 2812B LEDs here and these are individually addressable. So that's the reason you can see here you can cut out these LEDs at this particular location here. Now this is a 1 meter 30 LED strip that we have here. So now how you need to actually connect this is that you will have to actually connect this from this direction so if you see here there's this small arrow telling you the direction of the signal and this is the side that we will actually connect it to a d1 mini so we will be using the d1 mini which is a modified version of the esp8266 it only supports wi-fi it does not have any bluetooth the esp32 one supports bluetooth as well as wi-fi so this one supports only wi-fi and that's more than enough for our case right now so let's look at how we have to do these particular connections now. So let's go to this diagram here. So this is the D1 mini that I have and I'm going to connect the 5 volt from here. I'm going to connect it to the 5 volt here. The ground will be connected to the ground pin here and the D4 pin will be connected to the D in. So this is the D in here and this is the D out. So that's why I'm connecting to the D in from this particular LED. Okay, now this is a configuration that we have for D1 Mini. Now, if you have an ESP32, then this is the configuration that you will have to do. So, this is an ESP32 dev board that I have. Now, in this, I'm connecting the 5 volt input to the V in because I'm powering this using the micro USB port for the ESP32 board here. So this is the dev board that I have. That is, that is the ESP32 board. I'm providing links to this particular boards into the description below so both ESP32 as well as the D1 mini will be provided into the description below as well as the ground is now connected to the ground pin and the signal pin that is a DN pin is connected to the RX2 pin so this is the pin that you will have to connect in order for this thing to work now this entire diagram for both this D1 mini as well as the ESP32 I will provide it into the article that I will link into the description below. Now with this what we are going to do is we are going to now flash the WLED onto our D1 mini. So let's go to this particular link. So this link that is installed.wled.me I will provide it also into the article. Once you connect your D1 mini chip to your computer what you need to do is click on this install button and then afterwards select this particular USB serial port which is actually right now connected to my D1 mini and then afterwards it's going to ask you whether you want to install WLED. So I'm going to say install WLED and this will now tell you the version and I'm going to click on install. Now in this case if after this preparing installation if it does not move into this erasing mode that means your d1 mini is not into this particular flashing mode now i have found certain d1 minis for which you will have to actually connect the d3 pin to the ground pin so that you can enable the flashing mode in my case i didn't have to do this for this particular chip but i found out that there were certain d1 mini chips for which i had to connect the D3 pin to the ground pin and then connect the chip to my computer using the USB port. So if that is the case in your case, you will have to do this. So let's wait for this thing to actually start installing. So as soon as the installation completed, this light came on right now. So now I'm going to click on next and I'm going to provide this particular Wi-Fi configuration. So you need to select your Wi-Fi SSID and provide the password here. So and then click on connect 
and now this will actually configure your Wi-Fi configurations for this device and then you get this options of visiting the device that you can visit this particular device using the UI as well as you can add it to the home assistant. So first thing what we're going to do is we're just going to visit this particular device and see actually what it looks like. So this is the UI that you get after visiting that particular IP address for this particular D1 mini. Here I can actually turn off the LED as well as turn it on. And then afterwards, I can also change a lot of modes here. So I can change this to this Android mode. I like this particular mode because of its continuous LED flow. You can change the colors also. And if you see the changing of the colors is so instantaneous. It's like within a millisecond. Let me show this using the solid mode. Here I change it to green and it's green already. It's blue, it's red, it's purple or pink here. So this is the thing that I like about this. This is so instantaneous. It just updates really fast. So I like this particular Android mode. So this is the mode that is there. Let's go back to the solid mode. And then what we are going to do is we are going to go to now this place here. And then we are going to click on add to home assistant. So now when I click on this, it will actually ask me the home assistant link that I have. So I'm going to provide it my home assistant URL here. You can change this by clicking the edit button. And then I'm going to click on open. So when I'm going to click on open, I have to provide the username and password. And now this will actually automatically bring me to the configuration for the WLED. Now, if you have not found this particular option, what you could do is always go to add integrations here in home assistant and search for WLED. Now, right now it has found out that there is, it has discovered WLEDs here. So that's what it has discovered you can set it up from this direction also but let's go back here and then if you see it says do you want to set up your wled i'm going to say okay and now it's going to ask you for this particular ip address so in case if it has not auto detected this particular screen will pop up asking you the ip address of this particular d1 mini so as we know that we can access wled using this ip address i'm going to specify this ip address here it's only the IP address that I need to specify here and I'm going to click on submit. So now this has actually configured your WLED strip using the D1 mini into home assistant. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we are going to actually go to WLED here. And as you can see, you find this particular one device with 24 entities. Yeah, there are quite some entities involved here. Let me go to the device here and let me turn off this so when I turn this thing off you can see that the light is now turned off you can turn this back on here now that's how you are able to actually control WLED strip now let's actually go and look at our entity so I'm going to click here and then I'm going to go to this light.wled entity so when I click on this in this you can actually change your colors so you can actually increase the intensity that is you can increase the brightness of this strip or you can lower it also so this is a classic light entity with which you can control the intensity as well as you can change colors so let's actually try changing the colors let me change it to green and you can see the green color is now on you can change it to blue you can change it to red whatever you want now the different effects that we had seen before we can actually see them here. So if I go here and I can now scroll to that Android mode, which I like actually a lot. So I'm going to click on the Android mode and it's gone into this Android mode. You can change a particular color now by clicking on this particular thing. Now there are some customizations that you can do using the UI directly, which is not maybe available using the Home Assistant UI. You can go to this particular link and if you see in the Android mode, you have a lot of options here. So like for example, you can set this particular April night mode and in this you can change the different modes you that you have. There are so many modes here like explaining and going through all of this will take a lot of time. It is on you now to actually explore this particular different modes that you have. So now this is only like the color only mode then this is like the april night mode this is the default mode a lot of these modes are there now this is how you can actually control your individual addressable led strip like this using wled into your home assistant now you can do some kind of automations behind this so that you can do a lot of this particular patterns now what i'm going to show you is how you can actually 
configure this for 60 LEDs. So let's go to this particular UI here and I'm going to go to the config and in the configuration I'm going to specify the LED configuration. So by default here it is set to 30. So I'm going to change now this to 60. You can see the 60 has been set. I'll have to click on save here and then afterwards this will be now set into the 60 LED mode. Now this is a strip of 1 meter 30 LEDs that I have. Now to connect another 30, I'm going to connect this particular extra ones here. So I'm going to select this here and I'm going to now connect this here. So as you can see, this is now, now the Android light that we have. It's going from this strip to this strip. So now this we have as a 60 LED strip. So this is how you can actually configure your 30 LEDs and your 60 LEDs. So now this is the integration that you have done using Home Assistant and WLEDs. And with this, you can control your LED strip using Home Assistant. Now I have been working on a particular project that I would like to show you to you, wherein I use this addressable way to control it using Home Assistant and I have this particular project. So let's look at it now. So as you can see, I have attached this LED strip onto an aluminum casing, which is meant for LED strips. Now I have created a vertical stand for this because I like this vertical look of this LED strip. And if you have been following me on Twitter, as well as you have seen the shots, this is how it actually looks like. And as you can see on the screen now, I am changing the various modes from the WLED UI, and then I can have various colors and various options. So this was a project that I was working on actually. So we just saw how we can actually control this LED strip using Home Assistant with WLED. Now, if you like this particular video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more such videos to come. Till then, take care and I will see you in my next one.